Hey everybody, it's Darren at Mr. B. There's a little bit of chill in the air and it's starting to feel like the holidays. So we all wanted to reach out to you and share a little bit of our, our, our holiday windows with you. Um, as I've always shared with you guys, we are a Madison Avenue type of store with a Main Street mentality. And so this year, I want to introduce you yet again to Jim Spazzali, our trim and merchandising specialist. Uh, he's been doing this for several generations. Um, and he wanted to share with you uh, sort of uh, the, the ideas of what uh, came to him in building this year's holiday spectacular with all the windows. Jim? Well, we thought it'd be fun this year to show people what goes on behind the scenes. Uh, as you can see, we kind of just pulled back the brick and mortar, got into the, uh, the actual factories and talked to some of the artisans that make all our wonderful products. So we'll give you a quick tour of kind of what we think happens at night when nobody's looking. That's right. We're unveiling, we're pulling back the blinds and sharing with you the mystique of the menswear business. Jim, tell us about this window. This is, uh, you see the guy in the background, this is Wally Wallaby from Walla Walla, Washington. He's our uh, head scarf technician, did in a scarf. You can see some of the factory equipment in the back. Highly complicated equipment. He's been working there for a number of years. We couldn't photograph him because he's facing behind us, but uh, that's his job is to make just beautiful knit scarves. Wally Wallaby, way to go. <laughs> Look at the animation that Jim built into these windows. Guys, we don't have great big department store type of budgets. Jim built this stuff by hand. It is unbelievable. Let's go to this next window, Jane. And oh, wait, we've got a wonderful Peter Millar ensemble here. Uh, a Sherpa vest paired up underneath a cool little uh, denim sort of inspired jacket uh, with some tobacco colored trousers. Peter Millar, really cool, awesome. Jane's keeping up with us on the camera. Jim, tell us, tell us about this window. Well, you know, important it does have just the right shirt and tie combination for Christmas. We kind of pulled out some of the best looking, uh, really festive uh, bow ties, neckties. You can see the factories busy assembling the right shirt and tie. Um, of course, the background is really interesting with the old, um, the old pipes, the old factory settings, and they had a little Christmas Day car with the lights. But uh, this is a haberdashery factory somewhere in the northwest. We don't really know where. We kind of keep that a secret. Awesome. You know, by the way, guys, more and more in today's world, more and more manufacturing is going to start taking place here in the U.S. And uh, this is a little showcase of another Peter Millar ensemble. Um, a really cool uh, jacket uh, paired with a, a puffer sort of vest uh, juxtaposed with a little hoodie uh, uh, bibbed in. So very cool. Jane, keep up with us now. Jane does an unbelievable job behind the camera. What, what about this window, Jim? This is the biggest surprise. I mean, when they pinstripe their suit, we always thought that was sewn. This is actually the pinstriping machine that paints the stripe on your suit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who knew? You know, I thought we thought it was just kind of an artisan thing, but it's uh, one of the long, uh, long revealed secrets of the menswear industry. Wow. Pinstripe paint. That's new <laughs> to me. I'm just saying, pinstripe paint is new to me. But again, what a fabulous job Jim has done by pairing. Um, all of the little working parts and pieces together that he has built by hand. It's amazing. A little bit of copy about taking a whimsical trip through the world of menswear manufacturing. What do you got going on here, Gene, Jim? Well, you know, important is to have your socks up match in the morning. I've had a couple of days where I just got dressed in the dark and didn't wear the white socks. These are actually one of the factories where they actually match the socks up. So you see there's the robotic hand that's matching the right plaid with the right sock, the right solid. So. He always well dressed when you come to Mr. B. Wow, robotic hands with that. We are really sophisticated here at Mr. B. Uh, you guys got to come by and see these windows. So nobody does this anymore, right? Um, I'm going to tell you, in an old world way, we still pride ourselves on, on giving you guys a really neat service experience and most especially uh, trimming our store and really uh, getting into the holidays and providing you with a visceral experience. Jim, what about this window? I'm telling this one, we kind of blew away the concrete walls to show you what happened inside the sweater factory. This is a machine that actually assembles the argyle sweaters. You know, you want your sweater to be perfectly lined up with all the right diamonds in the right place. Right, a little argyle, right? And you see all the complicated machinery in the back? That's what it takes to really make a, a quality menswear sweater. <laughs> you know, I'm sure uh, our, our friends at St. Croix would love this um, <laughs> in it that, uh, you know, we're unveiling how they make a sweater. St. Croix, by the way, is a great knitwear collection, guys, uh, made in Winona, Minnesota, and uh, it is really, truly of the best. Hey, listen, that's a wrap. As always, um, we're so pleased to reach out to you guys and allow, thanks for allowing us into your homes. You know, Mr. B is continuing to bring you a menswear experience in an old world way, and it's thanks to folks like Jim. That, that are here to continue keeping our store looking great. And we want to share this with you. 
come by and visit with us. We'd love to share the windows with you. And, and always, thanks for watching these silly videos. Jane and I have discussions about it that we get one take. I'm like Frank Sinatra, man, so we don't <laughs> rehearse anything. But thanks for watching, and come visit us this holiday season at Mr. B. Thanks again.